In the previous video, we installed everything that was necessary to install a Laravel 5.3 application. The result was well, the welcome page that you see right now. But how is that page loaded? Where is the logic? Where is the code? Well, we will answer all these questions and more in this video. First, open the Laravel project on Sublime Text. So, file, open, develop, YouTube, projects, Laravel, and Lara 53. We click open. Excellent. If this is your first experience with Laravel, don't worry about all these folders and files. They are actually really easy to understand and we will learn about them as we continue with the tutorials. Now we want you to open the routes folder. You can see there are three files, API, console and web. I want you to open the web.php file. This file contains a route. Basically what a route does is to respond when you hit a URI. Let's take as an example the welcome page that we already saw. From your PHP experience, you already know about GET and POST, so this is a GET request. Now, basically we're saying when we hit the root of the application, or the index if you want it in that way, then return a view with the name WELCOME. Thus, the first part is the URI, and the second part is a closer that returns a view called WELCOME. Now you might be thinking, how does the Laravel application know about this view called Welcome? Where does this view exist? Well, open Resources and then Views. Inside the View folder, we have a welcome.blade.php file. If you open this file, it has some HTML and CSS. Nothing fancy. Okay, so now we know where this Welcome view exists, but still we do not know how it is loaded. We just say return the view welcome, or nothing else. The answer is inside the config folder. We have some PHP files, but at this moment we care about the view.php file, so open that. In paths, you see that we specify the path to the views folder. This is how your application knows where your views exist. This is why we do not need to specify the whole path for the view. But why don't we try this on our own and see the result? So copy the path and I will return it in the route that we already have. So return and paste. Save, go back and reload. And this is your proof. We have now the whole path to the views folder. But wait a minute, we returned a string, not a view this time. Can we actually do that? Of course, we could return anything, a JSON, an object, a view, a string, it depends on you. 